Happy Thanksgiving, Rose family. My name is Pastor Daniel, and I uh, just wanted an opportunity to share with you some thoughts around Thanksgiving that uh, I've been reflecting on. My dad had this amazing tradition that I can remember uh, from when I was a kid, that around Thanksgiving, he would spend some time thinking and praying through people that he was just grateful uh, for being able to do life with, and grateful for the impact they had on his life. So he used to handwrite cards to everyone that God was putting on his heart. And I remember coming into his office and seeing his desk covered in cards that he was handwriting out to people because he wanted to continue to be grateful and thankful for the people that God had put in his life. Um, and I've aspired to be a more grateful person because I think uh, being grateful and thankful for what God has done, it gives us the right spirit to appreciate all that God continues to provide us with. I ran across something that I had uh, reflected on about four years ago. I had just finished reading Psalm 100 verse 4, and uh, I wrote this, and I, I just read this and wanted to share it with you. It says, as God teaches me things, I continue to realize that gratitude is the single most important perspective changing thing that can happen to me. It's also the thing I forget the fastest. Gratitude causes me to view every blessing around me as an undeserved gift. Gratitude causes me to reclassify hardships as mere speed bumps sandwiched between God's continued provision. Gratitude opens my eyes to the scandalous grace I've received and what I really deserve. Ponder on all that God has done this Thanksgiving as most of us sit with family and friends in the richest and freest country in the world. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you spend some time just thinking about the people that God has put in your life the way that he's blessed you. I'm thankful for our church. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that I'm going to get to see you on Sunday. Can't wait to do that again. Love you. See you soon.